Hello everyone, my name is Arkady Tsikin and I'm an expert in laser surface engineering processes. Today I would like to introduce you laser cladding technology. I try to do it in a simple words, in a simple way so everybody can understand and be fascinated as I am about the technology. Let's start together and look on a couple of slight examples what we talk about. Let's start from a history. Basically, laser cladding is a welding process and in any welding process we try to bind two materials together using some kind of heat source which helps us to generate a local heat and then have a melting bath which forms during the process and help us to combine the materials. You can use a filler material for that purpose or you can just try to combine both materials. Of course it's not so simple and there are many things which might influence your quality, however the principle is quite understandable and this is a welding technology. However, in laser cladding, we talk not about joining two materials together, we talk about overlaying. So we try to give a certain protection to a substrate. And this can be done with many different purposes. One of them is to improve wear resistance or corrosion resistance of our surface and the material which might be cheap and require certain improvement and properties. At its second stage, we just might repair some worn surfaces and geometrically restore certain components to their initial dimensions. So how does it look? We have a laser beam as an energy source. And this laser beam with help of optical components, we might focus on the surface of our substrate material. In that case, a melting bath will be formed. Inside the melting bath, we can add a filler material, which might be in form of powder or wire. This material is going to be molten with help of laser energy and produces a coating on the surface of our substrate. Why laser cladding is so excited? Because we have a couple of benefits comparing it to any other known welding technology or overlaying or hard facing technology. First of all, we have a low dilution, so means a mixturing between our substrate and the coating is so negligible that it almost not influencing the properties of our coating. And honestly saying, if we want to protect something, we will want to keep dilution as minimal as possible. Thanks to laser, where we have a local heat input which is absolutely controllable, we generate only a small heat affected zone compared to any other technology. So we do influence the properties of our substrate also in a very minimum way. Third advantage is that we have 100% dense coatings. So we talk about metallurgical bonding. The coatings will not have any spallation problems or adhesion problems. They have very nice um, properties and a fine microstructure thanks to rapid cooling. So with thinner layers by laser cleaning, you can get better coating properties compared to any other hard facing technology. Why I like laser cladding more, it's a variety of different processes which are related to laser cladding. You can treat internal diameter surfaces, you can work with virus materials, and the main new developments go to high power, high speed, and even additive manufacturing, which I would like to summarize on our next slide, which I call a laser cladding development chart. What we see here that the laser cladding has developed in three main directions. One of them is additive or 3D technologies. In this way, we usually do not build coatings. We try to build components and we'll build them on the surface of existing substrate. Or we try to restore dimensional properties of a worn material or simplify certain geometries. Imagine you have a casting process. And in the casting process, you have to produce a part with very complex geometry. In that case, casting might cause you a lot of issues. So how you can improve that way? You can simplify your casting mode, do a casting process which is still economical and advantage. And then at the end, you can build certain features using a DD or laser cladding technology to produce those more complicated structures. The main trends, if we speak about additive, go in direction 
high productivity and more reliable process control where we can monitor melting bath. We can monitor the temperature input during the process and at the same time we do generate a lot of data which goes in direction artificial intelligence. I believe in a couple of years laser planning process uh, in 3D parts construction might be completely monitored and not only monitored but also controlled. That might be a very nice target for market to develop. If we look on two different sides, other sides, we see that we have a high power process, which means nowadays we can look with lasers which operate in power source values around 20 to 25 kilowatts. This helps you to work with around 20 kilogram of powder which you feed to surface constantly per hour, building thick coatings which might be up to five millimeter thick, still maintaining metallurgical bonding, heat affected zone. And imagine about the high productivity which we can achieve already with laser cladding. This technology nowadays can replace or can improve our understanding in direction what is the future of hard facing. On the left side, we have so-called high-speed process. This process is slightly different where for rotation symmetrical bodies, it's enabling to produce thin coatings under extreme fast deposition conditions. So we can rotate our parts with a speed around 200, between 100 and 200 meters per minute. And at the same time, we produce thin coatings, which have absolutely incredible surface roughness and at the same time, they still maintain the metallurgical bonding. I hope it was interesting for you to learn the basics of laser cladding. I will talk more about high-speed laser cladding, high-power cladding, DD in my separate videos. I will just make focus on different topics, subjects, also laser surface hardening. I have a couple of ideas. I really hope it is interesting for you to hear my videos, to understand where I'm coming from, and also if it's simple and you can understand the technology. My purpose is not to go deep in technical details. My purpose is to give you a feeling what technology is enabling to you to do and how you also is not necessarily a user can understand technology and maybe even jump in discussion with some experts and get a better understanding what benefits it can provide for you or your applications or studies, whatever you are doing with. Let's stay in touch. Please follow me on LinkedIn. Please follow me on my YouTube channel. Like my video if you like it. I will be really happy about that. Appreciate your attention and let's stay in touch. Always yours, Arkady Tsikin. Bye.